As many of you may know, in her controversial interview with Oprah Winfrey last year, Meghan spoke about how close she became with Tyler Perry during a difficult time in her life after stepping back from royal duties. She told Oprah that when she and Harry were house hunting in California, Perry kindly offered them use of one of his homes to stay in. During the interview, Meghan gushed about the beautiful home and its amenities. She specifically mentioned how Perry had an incredible grand piano in the home that she enjoyed playing. However, some new evidence I've uncovered suggests that key detail may not be entirely accurate. Let me back up a bit and provide some context. After leaving the UK in 2020, Harry and Meghan briefly stayed at an estate owned by Tyler Perry in Los Angeles. This was when COVID restrictions first began and they were looking to settle somewhere privately while house hunting. In her Oprah interview, Meghan painted a picture of Tyler opening his home up to them in their time of need. She said he had an incredible home with beautiful views of nature from every window. Among the nice fixtures in the home, Meghan highlighted the grand piano. She said Tyler had a beautiful grand piano and that she enjoyed playing it while they stayed there. Now, photos have surfaced online of Tyler Perry's actual Atlanta home, where he has lived for many years. The property features in countless behind-the-scenes videos and photos Perry has shared promoting his career over the decades. And from what can be seen, there is no grand piano anywhere in the home. All the rooms shown are sparse, modern spaces with clean lines and simple furnishings. No piano is visible. This caused some people to question if Meghan was embellishing her story about the gifted use of Perry's real home, or staying in a different rental property of his instead. To get to the bottom of this, I decided to do some digging into Perry's actual LA property that Meghan and Harry stayed in during early 2020. With a little online searching, I was able to find real estate listings from when the sprawling estate was previously on the market in 2015. The listings include dozens of high-resolution interior photos of every room in the home. And after closely examining them all, I did not see any sign of a grand piano. The formal living areas shown are nicely furnished but very minimalist. Certainly no grand piano taking up space. Some key things stand out in the photos that make a piano very unlikely. First, the floor plan and dimensions of the rooms would make a piano difficult to accommodate. Many rooms have wall-to-wall -wall furnishings already. Also, the aesthetic style portrayed in all the decor and design choices is a clean, contemporary mood with simple lines and neutral tones. A large, ornate grand piano does not seem to suit or complement this style at all. Lastly, in none of the outdoor scenery shots of the spectacular grounds does any part of the property look like it could house a grand piano either. All structures shown are for casual entertaining areas, not a dedicated music space. So in summary, after thoroughly examining the only authenticated interior photos that exist of Tyler Perry's actual L.A. estate where Harry and Meghan stayed, there is no evidence to corroborate Meghan's claim that a grand piano was there for her to play. The home's features, layout, and design sense all contradict the probable presence of such an instrument. This discrepancy raises doubts about the accuracy of Meghan's other recollections shared in that famous Oprah interview, which generated significant controversy and ongoing criticism of the royal family. Was she simply mistaken about the piano? Or did she embellish parts of her story for dramatization on international television? Either way, it's an unfortunate mark on her credibility. And the initial evidence that suggested she may have conflated or confused Perry's properties, or even stayed in a different rental altogether, is worth serious consideration. Of course, it's possible Tyler Perry owns other homes fitted with grand pianos that the Sussexes could have accessed. But based on the verifiable facts and photos of the specific L.A. property where they quarantined, Meghan's vivid piano anecdote does not seem to align with reality. I know discussing anything related to Harry and Meghan's departure from royal life usually invites strong opinions on both sides. But in this case, the photographic evidence speaks for itself. Let me know your thoughts on this discovery in the comments below. Did you find Meghan's claim about the piano to be dubious too after learning these new details? Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.